In this video, we will be installing Chrome OS with a dual boot setup. This guide is applicable for both versions, Windows 10 and 11. However, before we begin, I need to clarify one point. If you are using a Wi-Fi adapter like I am, this OS may not be suitable for you. During the installation process, my Wi-Fi adapter was not detected, but after connecting an Ethernet cable, everything worked fine. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. First, open browser and search, cross tech, Click on the first link that appears. Depending on your processor, download the corresponding file. For Intel 4th to 5th gen, download Ramus. For Intel 6th to 9th gen, download Shivana. For Intel 10th gen, download Jinlin. For Intel 11th gen or newer, download Voxel. For AMD processors, download Gumbaz. Well, I have Intel 8th gen processor, so I'm going with Shivana. Click on drop down and choose the latest one. Downloading will be started now. After downloading is complete, search for Brunch GitHub. Select the first result and click on Stable. After both files are downloaded, close the browser and open the file manager. Click on the Downloads Well This Is Commands file. You can easily get it from my Telegram channel. Create a new folder and rename it to Chrome OS with all lowercase letters and no spaces. First, select both file, Chrome OS, and the branch. Then, right-click and choose Extract File. Double-click on Downloads, select the Chrome OS folder, and click OK. After extracting, delete both files. Then, open the Chrome OS folder and rename the recovery image, removing all extra letters after Chrome OS. Close the file manager, open the start menu, and search for disk partition. Create a new partition for Chrome OS by right-clicking on the C drive and selecting shrink volume. I recommend create minimum 64 GB. After shrink right-click on new partition, and next next, and rename to Chrome OS. Then click on shrink. Now, close the disk manager. Open the Start menu, search Sleep, and select Power and Sleep Settings. Adjust Screen Off Time, select to Never Both. This should help prevent any interruptions due to the screen turning off during the command execution process. Open Start menu and search CMD, Run as Administrator. Then, type WSL, space, dash, dash, install, and hit Enter. This process may take some time. A few moments later. To apply changes effectively, you need to restart your PC. After restarting, CMD automatically opens. Type your username without any spaces. Then, set your password. Don't worry if the password doesn't show as you type. On Linux, the password input is hidden for security reasons. Once everything is done, minimize the CMD. Open the file manager, navigate to the downloads, and open the commands file. Now here is you need to perform some changes according to your system. First, enter your Windows username. Next, input the drive letter you created for Chrome OS. And the last, enter the disk size, but remember to subtract 8 gigabytes from the total. For example, if you have 62 gigabytes, you should enter 54 gigabytes, like me. Then save. After saving, open the file with CMD and split screen. Select the first command and copy it. Move the cursor to CMD, left click to select, then right click to paste the command, and hit enter. Type your password for verify. After that, copy the second command and follow the same process. Then copy the third one and paste. Now you are on the Chrome OS directory for check paste fourth command. 
Paste the fifth command for start the installation. This will be take almost 30 to 40 minutes, so have patience. Two thousand years later. After completing, paste the last command. Now close both window and open start menu and search for Windows Security. Open it. Then click on Virus and Threats. Manage Settings, then turn off all protections. We are doing this thing, just because Microsoft don't allow to add a new boot option, by any third-party software, after completing all the installation things, you can enable all protections options. Now close the Windows Security, and open Browser. Search Grub 2 Win. Go with first link. Click on download. After downloading complete, close the browser. Open file manager. Navigate to downloads. Right click on grub2win. Extract here. Run grub2win as administrator. Click on OK. Then Setup. Close the Setup program. Then click on Manage Boot Menu. Add a new entry. On the Type drop-down, Create User Section. Now here is you need paste some commands. Commands file on your Chrome OS drive. Open File Manager. Click on this PC. Open Chrome OS drive. Open Chrome OS.img grub text file. Ignore this error. Now select all the commands and copy. Then close this window and file manager. Click on retry, then paste command and save. Close text window. Then OK all pop-ups. Check the first branch, and apply. Then click on OK. Now restart your PC. On the restart, you will see a menu. The first option will be Windows. And the sixth option will be Brunch. Select Brunch and hit Enter. This will take some time. Now set up your Chrome OS. Click on Get Started. Choose Usages for and Next. Again Next. Enter your Gmail. Now set user password. Next, set icon size, select theme. All set. Now that you have successfully installed Chrome OS with dual boot, the Play Store is working fine. And all my previous apps are automatically downloading. You can update Chrome OS here. And there's Linux support as well. Now, let me show you how to boot into Windows. Open the notification, restart, and select Windows. So that's it for today's video. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Stay tuned.